Greetings, friends, crew member of our beloved, polluted, and unique spacecraft, which, since the last time we met, has taken three turns about its imaginary axis, and of course has created many events in full development. Some of them are protection and continuity of what we had previously mentioned. Unfortunately, we confirm that the Middle East is warming up. This could be a euphemism because you always feel the problems within. But this is real unfortunate since Trump came to the White House, certain lobbies are faced in a given situation and those representing this lobby, for instance, Israel in the Middle East, for instance, the oil industry, the weapon industry as well. This is all very effervescent as of today. A world that wants to live in peace, because as mentioned by Linus Pavlin, there are no possibilities. A world or global confrontation would be a suicide. And just to say this slightly, the Colombia plan, the SOB plan Colombia, where the people in Colombia grant their sovereignty on the air, on the sea, and they continue to nauseous. However, what they do is nauseous because they comply with the American plan in order to put their hands in the greatest oil resources, the greatest minerals resources of biodiversity on the planet, which are here four or five days away. Well, the Middle East, whenever this is blocked, here there's no possibility to bring 40 or 50 percent of the world's oil in order to get to the States. It takes 40, 50 days of navigation. And of course, transportation is also part of the oil business in order to reach the greatest consumers and polluters. While ours, the great reservoir in the planet, just four or five days away. So the difference is 10 to 1. The traders that come from Santander have dropped their trousers with seven bases from the estates that have granted the air, maritime, and land sovereignty. Well. This comes from the Bible, right? Some have the sign of treason within. They're even part of the big, bigger nation. But let us not speak about the liberator. And let us go far away. Let's go to the Middle East and take a look at the events of development. We were working on the field. It was very intense work. So what do we have here? This is very interesting. This is Brussels. Belgium, and of course, activists carrying out their actions against Israel while the ministers carry out their debate about Gaza. And with the powerful Israeli lobby, the Israeli do whatever they want to do with the American support, always by their side. Who was speaking there? That's Federica Mogherini. We are going to hold a discussion with the ministers about the situation on the Gaza Strip, as you know, the community of the EU and the states to continue working for a solution of two states with Jerusalem, because the future capital of both the states is solid. And we will brainstorm with the ministers in order to see how we can progress with this agenda. Remember that Christians have a lot to say about Jerusalem as well. This is the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Netherlands, Luck, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Belgium, Didier Reinders. And here, the Dutch mentioned that the EU is supporting different programs for the people living in gas, and now they just remembered about them that they are bombed by the ultra-right wing Israeli. Not all of them. I was there and I proved this. The only solution is peace. So for both parties, including Palestine and the Israelis, in order to move away from the trenches, I work with a solution for two states that coexist. 
This is Luck with uh, reporters. Take a look at this. Do you remember what the shoe means? Throwing a shoe as it happened against the president of the United States who was a daddy's son. This is an insult to a culture, but this could also be the issues representing ones that are no longer here. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs from Belgium with the Minister de Reinder said that Palestine is important and the science says Palestinian lives matter. This is a media war where the pro-Israel lobby of the United States puts their hand and they go deep. We have requested an independent investigation about the situation in Gaza. This has been a process in the Human Rights Council in Geneva. Belgium has requested other partners to carry out an independent investigation and the request from the General Secretary of the States for the nations that have to do this and reach clear conclusions about this topic. The request of the Secretary General to the United States. Reinders, speaking to the reporters, this is absolutely impressive. Palestinian lives matter, as is stated in that sign. This is a silent protest representing the victims that increased their number day by day. The Palestinians in the morgue of the city of Gaza. People outside the morgue, people carrying bodies and corpses. The ones that are always there. Funeral after funeral with always Palestinian victims in the stretchers. A fire of a war tank from Israel killed people from this place, while the people were also capturing other militants of Gaza tried to cross to Israel, as is stated by the army in their official communique. In the meantime, Moscow, with the Syrian army that should be in the southern border of the country, is stated by the most veteran chancellor of the world. Sergei Lavrov, the agreement to create a de-escalation zone in the south of Syria assumed the retreat of all non-Syrian forces of this part of the Syrian Arab Republic. Answering to another reporter, the result of this task that should continue and continue should be a situation where the representatives of the army of the Syrian Arab army are in the border of Syria with Israel. This is the logical position. Bilateral conference in course here. Minister Sergei Lavrov mentioning that only the troops of the Syrian government should be present. European Council for Foreign Affairs, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the EU, how to save nuclear agreement with Iran. Mikhail Roth, Minister of State of Germany to Europe, mentioned today we must send a clear signal that the European Union is supporting the nuclear agreement. Our greatest interest is for this to have a future, and it is possible for Iran to work with this agreement. These are commitments they have assumed, and they should comply. We will support Iran financially and operationally under the basis of this matter. Belgium and their minister, Mr. Reinders, who said, we try to go beyond the comprehensive joint action plan or nuclear agreement with Iran because it's a clear agreement of the EU and the whole international community. Thus, it is important to show that we have the capacity to implement it. We're going to do so with the partners of the European Union, not only on the public side, with the European Bank of Investment and Central Bank, but also by promoting the SMES, the small and medium-sized companies, together with the possibilities of big-scale companies to work in Iran. It's not easy because we are aware of the situation, the territory actions of the United States, but we try to work with the collaboration with Iran as well. If we want to go beyond with all the agreements, as it happened with North Korea, which is very important, we must demonstrate we have the capacity to implement our agreements that we have already achieved with Iran. Why can't we have the other ones as well?
Minister for the First of Luxembourg, Jan Asselborn, said the nuclear agreement with Iran is something that is extremely difficult. This is clear. We must tell the people in their states that not only President Trump is very important for us, it is not only about trade. The security of the European Union is important. It will only improve if we ensure that the nuclear spiral in the Middle East will not turn in the wrong direction. Beautiful building of the European Council. We will see European flags. Let me remind you that the phrases in development and in full development are registered phrases with a copyright and not authorized for their use to the channels using these phrases. In development, registered a long, long time ago, as was in full development by dossier. This is the European Council with the different flags inside the building. Reiner Sander, Commissioner of Cooperation for Development, representatives of the European Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, Federica Mogherini, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Germany, Federico Germanescano, Morel Melescano, are waiting for the round table to begin. Bulgaria with the Prime Minister and the Minister for Foreign Affairs, Katerina Isariova, who are awaiting for this meeting to begin. Ministers and workers expecting for the meeting. Foreign Affairs Minister of Poland with the Minister of Exports of Spain, Alfonso Astis. The Croatian State Secretary, Andrzej Metelko, speaking with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Finland, Timo Sorini. Then the former Minister of Foreign Affairs of Austria, Karin Neisel, is speaking with the Slovenian Secretary of State and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ander Ljubogard. Minister of Hungary, Peter Sigario. Greetings to the rest of the people. And the rest of the people also there with the Sarieva who are sitting down at the round table. During the visit to Europe, Netanyahu mentioned that he will have a campaign in order to stop Iran. Of course, smiling as always. He said, I will go to Europe next week. I will meet with Angela Merkel as well as Macron, president of Germany and France, and also Theresa May from Great Britain, to speak about the nuclear aspirations of Iran and also the expansion of Iran in the Middle East. I will show our position as clearly as possible. We have experienced with this. There have been years where we have faced these threats, and I think the situation has changed for the better. I will also show the essentials for the security of Israel. Based on Syria, our position is clear. We believe that there is no place for military presence of Iran in any place of Syria. This person, who does he think he is? God? I don't know. Israel requested to deny to their arch enemy Iran any possibility to have weaponry, while Israel has between 300 and 400 nuclear heads. She requests the strength to make of China a world leader for science and technology. This is Beijing, a beautiful summit where Chinese President Xi Jinping, who is also General Secretary of the Party in the Central Committee. The East is red and their national anthem. The President of the Military Commission are present there as well. Those who once underestimated China, there are a lot of them, now must understand this reality. They are unstoppable. They are a nation power in every different aspect.
Firstly, on behalf of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China, I would like to congratulate the Commission for the meetings as well as my official greeting to you, to the personnel of science and technology of the country here represented. Xi Jinping, President of China, also the General Secretary of the Communist Party of China, President of the Central Military Commission, mentioned for my country, I have shed my blood and I turned the leaves red. This uh, historic quote, the professors are the glory of the nation. Their academic achievements are overwhelming and are sufficient in the field of science. Generations of scientists that are deeply patriotic have provided their contributions historically very important for their nation and the people. To different milestones, seeking for science and innovation, of our motherland are full of efforts and sweat from our professors. Honoring our great Chinese colony, and we're going to listen the original sound. Many of our academics have great ideas to show their concern about the world, first of all, and enjoy this after their achievements. They are the heroes of our nation who are able to do something that changes the world but it's not yet known by many. Or maybe they don't want to know about this. This is what I say. Xi Jinping, Chinese President, also General Secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China and President of the Central Military Commission. China's economy has been key for the new times. The vessel transport China is going against wind and waves. Let us be together in order to go against all the problems firmly, progressing toward our objective of turning China into the world power for science and technology. President Xi Jinping requested on Monday an effort to turn China into the great global leader of science and technology. Xi Jinping, also General Secretary of the Communist Party of China, the Committee of the President of the Central Military Commission, mentioned that while China struggles for thriving, they must dedicate their efforts to promote science and technology to become a global hub for science and innovation, as mentioned by Xi in the 19th Academic Summit of the Science Academy of China and the 14th Academic Summit of Engineering. First, he congratulated the Commission for the meetings. <laughs> historic attributions of our nation and our people, the different milestones for science and innovation of our motherland are full of effort and sweat of academics. Many of our academics have great ideas to show their concern about the world firstly and secondly to enjoy their achievements. In order to deepen our exchange with global parties worldwide, Xi Jinping, president with a letter that was read on the media, summit of the cooperation organization of Shanghai, the 18th one, China with their ambassadors, Beijing, China, Kassin Alam, ambassador of Azerbaijan in China, speaking to the journalists and Akran Zevnali, 
We need to take a closer look to the old Chinese civilization. The Asian Chinese culture always emphasizes harmony. Therefore, this could be interpreted as harmony and peace. Cooperation could see great development, and with development, it could improve the lifestyle of people. When people live a better life, there's peace. So I believe that him, and by this they refer to general concept, is the greatest and best worth the election of SCO, the Organization for Cooperation in Shanghai. With this, we can see the atmosphere of what it represents for all the different reforms. Akram Zernali, ambassador of Azerbaijan in China, mentioned if we take a look at today's world order, we can understand the meaning of the Shanghai spirit, the reason why Shanghai values the SEO which is the approval of today, the spirit of Shanghai, that emphasizes mutual respect. Then the organizations carried out this perfectly. The SEO is different to other international organizations because it has a different spirit. Reporter asked new questions, and the ambassador of Azerbaijan in China mentioned, as a country that is part of the presidency of this organization, China has organized different international high-level activities. I am fully convinced that this summit will be fully successful. It will facilitate cooperation and also will allow the member states of the SEO to have a dialogue as the equals. Also, with the 18th Summit of the Cooperation Organization of Shanghai, just turned the corner, Akram Reynali from Azerbaijan in China, welcomed the spirit of Shanghai in the SOC. Take a look at the mother of China. Well different to the one that I saw in the 70s, where everyone rode their bike. At lunch, they had a rice bowl, and then they would continue working after eating. No one gifted them anything. The translator uses the word cooperation as a split cooperation, where harmony is very important in China. And here is what he wrote about the case. Moon Jae-in, president of South Korea, request more conversations with the North. Interesting move. The president of South Korea, Moon Jae-in, said, the most important of last meeting between the two Koreas is that there was an appointment to discuss the most important business without procedure and formalities as an, in an informal meeting. This is a dramatic change of the stage. If we could keep consecutive conversations to work from both sides, Pam Moon Young, it would be necessary together with the summit to speed up the relations between the two Koreas. President of South Korea, Moon Jae-in, mentioned on Monday that there could be more improvised talks and summits with Kim Jong-un, while workers from the United States are awaiting a historic meeting between Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un. The North Korean leader mentions that they had a very intense meeting and the results so far seem very optimistic so far as we can see in the international panorama, regardless of the situation about both Koreas. Let us remember that these were terrible areas of combat after World War II, with all their four-star general, their allies, particularly the states, had their worst and most shameful retreat ever those who defeated the Third Reich. And that's why we should mention this again. What is left in the Korean Peninsula is divided in these colors. 
They're red and purple colors. It seems to be a paradox. This is parallel 38. This is not a peace agreement. This is but an armistice. It is impressive. The table, to understand the table where this was negotiated, even within the table there was a white line that marked geographically the division of the 38th parallel. In the north and the south and the people guarding the parallel on one and the other side of this white line they're all like this looking at each other without moving take a look at their counterpart on the other side this still shows open wounds hopefully they can be closed or a spirit ready for any situation well my monitors are not showing anything important that is not part of our second block. Today we had a lot of field work in a not very civil area. I cannot tell you what happened. We often have a certain attitude. So as a producer, I allow myself to wear this type of clothes because I'm informing you. We're going to have a short break and we'll come back with more events for development. Stay where you are. We are back with more events in full development. It is my duty to show my appreciation to the sister nation of Bolivia, the pre national state of Bolivia, where it had to face dramatic moments in their contemporary history. Very important coups, as the one with Antush Bush, Garcia Mesa, to be taken away. From the Sheraton with the 9mm here. People wearing their uniform but with no signs, and my cameraman was also pointed with a gun. We were taken by a military vehicle, and they were, we were taken to a basement. We were a little bit afraid, and our cameraman started. Uh, heating and kicking the doors and he said the European Commission Human Rights have their face destroyed and here we started our experience with the war fronts and the chess piece and they said listen you're not messing with small network this is the official network so I told my ambassador that if he should not hear from me every half an hour this could have happened and I told him, you have 10 minutes, you don't have conditions to impose any situation. And I said, well, it's okay. Now you have only seven minutes. At the end, he took us from the basement and took us in an elevator to a penthouse, and there was one of the protagonists of the coup. This was the first brace. Where did you lose your eye? In a terrorist attack? I said, no. But I must acknowledge that this is a clean coup, you are able to dominate the situation immediately and you have control over the situation. I want to inform about this and come back to my country, Venezuela. The, well, Venezuela was not yet a Bolivarian Republic, and I provide the information about this. Well, as time went by, as Dr. President said, uh, Walter loves Bolivia because we're about to kill him and he still comes. And then I covered the adventure of Che from top to bottom. So the military university, Military Super Rioja, with the National School of Studies of Bolivia, provided an acknowledgement for myself from this institution. This is the school of high studies, which is the most important one in the plurinational state of Bolivia. I had the honor of 
speaking at some conference there, and I have this plaque as one of the memoirs of the times that went by, and that today we are in a different situation, a brotherly situation with our common ideals, and also the university sent, or actually they gave me in person, the director of the study university con Eduardo Barboa gives the gold shield honoris causa to Walter Nelson Martinez. Acknowledgement for his speech for the personnel of this high study of non-conventional war media studies. When we speak about this, we can have a full close-up to this badge. This is a very important decoration you can wear with your uniform. And based on this, it is signed by the Vice Admiral Juan Riquez Jaratripa of the School of High Studies. It is interesting to see that an admiral is the one signing this, because Bolivia will always have the chance to go out to the sea. I am showing this from the study of High National Studies, Coronel Eduardo Barabria, that the president of the plurinational state of Bolivia, Evo Morales, and the vice president, Alba García Lineras, also show their appreciation, and Bolivia TV, the official channel of the Cochabamba Games 2018, have sent this, this great amount of presents they have given us to this with a lot of very important books. Marcelo Quiroga Santa Cruz, documents, essays, article, papers, guild, struggles in Bolivia. And take a look at this. Eva Morales, when he was very young. Memory and revolution, the chain, all of this. We have Correo del Alba. There was a problem of the right wing. They changed the name from El Correo to La Correo. I was surprised by this cover. Exclusive Walter Martinez, Toyen, journalist of TV. That picture comes from a time when we use thematics. So this comes around the 70s. Here we have Father Jose Numa, Liberator Church in Venezuela. The a strength of the public-private alliance. Bolivia TV. Bolivia TV. People from Bolivia TV have facilitated the work, and we hope to come back soon. Jorge Sanjines, passion for the cinema. Geoharmony, a current of the geopolitics worldwide. October, this is all the story of Che in Bolivia and the Book of the Sea, El Libro del Mar, something that has always been part of the first importance in Bolivia, the Book of the Sea, Libro del Mar. And this association of the Diploma Center of High National Studies, Greeners, Freedom, and Nation, a sovereign port in the Pacific, they will get it. And of course, the official network of the South American Games 2018, the official channel of Bolivia. It is difficult to fulfill with all of this Youth, Memory, and Revolution, the law of Youth and Revolution. This is Evo Morales. What is changing in Bolivia? Evo and his ideals. Take a look at this. From Nancahuasú to Higuera. This is Che. I had the chance to go through all this road. It is impressive. Let me tell you that together with this, we have different types of artworks for a world without walls. Labor Library 53, this comes from Evo. The first time that I met with him, he said, Walter, friend, can I call you friend? He's so humble. It's overwhelming how humble he is. I told him, I am the son of a worker who worked at night. And I'm very pleased with this type of talks that I have with people 
who come from places where no one gives you anything. Critical analysis of Bolivar from Marx. Interesting, impressive all that we have here. San Juan, Blood and Fire, 1967. We are overwhelmed by all this. And also Iyambay. Let me tell you that in order to pay more respects to the plurinational state of Bolivia that at some point, without a doubt, will retrieve their access to sea, now we need to speak about our ambassador without borders, Bravo Eco 11. The statement for the Army for the 13th International Cruise Ship Battle to Miguel 2018 of training ship Alpha Bravo Acción Bolívar Bravo Eco 11, Monday 28, 2018, operational activities. Training ship from Bolivar, Ambassador Without Borders, for the 13th International Velocity Group 2018, set port in Valparaíso, Republic of Chile, which is the ninth port of the training ship that so far has over 8 1,300 miles, keeping a high level of operations during their tour and becoming a platform for future Navy officers. So this is Valparaíso. So now we're in the Pacific, and we're taking this turn as it is planned in order to comply with this training ship that goes around all South America, also having the experience of going through the Panama Canal. Valparaíso represents the end of navigation for 35 cadets who will not return with the ship but will take a plane back to Venezuela after going through a different port and Patagonia as well. This experience will have a great place in their the navigation logs. It also shows the arrival of 33 cadets. Some of them come and some of them go. 33 new cadets with their greatest expectation will go through the Pacific and will go through the Panama Canal and then will go to the Caribbean to arrive in Venezuela on July 31 with a back full experience for their training. Climate conditions, eight tenths of cloudiness that then turned into three tenths. Little rain, good visibility, reduced areas due to fog, wind up to 30 knots, decreasing in depth to 0 0.5 knots, and continuing with a north northwest. Waves up to three meters. This should be very fun. I can tell you this because I have sailed. I have sailed thoroughly with the hurricane in the Caribbean, diminishing little by little. Now, Navy Glossary at Rufo, a curve of the high hull so that the pro and the stern can become higher than the center. The pro and the stern a little bit higher than the center of the ship. This is a Rufo in Spanish. Guillermo Colombo, España, Captain Officer of the Guard, Anto Mejia Ponte, Captain of the Navy, Coordinator of Operation Control, Marco Frachel Arandia, Captain of the Navy, of the Bolivarian Army. So now we'll continue with the channel we have left with the information that we have. Whenever we have news, we must speak about them. Let us continue with more events in full development. What we see now, of course, is Italy. Italian president for new elections. Prime Minister Quitting his turn, Carlo Cotarelli, mentioning the following. Good morning. I have accepted the task to create a government as requested by the president. As an Italian, I feel honored by this task, and I will do everything in my power. The president has requested me to come to the parliament with a program to accompany the country with new elections. President mi ha chiesto di presentarmi in Parlamento con un programma che porti il paese a nuove elezioni. 
I expect to represent the list of ministers to the president as soon as possible, and I will go to the parliament that will include the approval of the budget for 2019. After this, the parliament will be dissolved by election in 2018. Without a vote of confidence, the government will pronounce their immediate resignation and will work principally with ordinary affairs until the election in 2018. I would like to highlight that the government will be completely neutral about the electoral debate. I commit not to be a candidate for the next elections, and I will request the same commitment from the rest of the government. Let me add some words as an economist. During the last days, tensions in financial markets have increased, and as you know, the differential has increased. However, the Italian economy continues growing, and public finances are still under control. I can assure you absolutely that the government that I will be in charge of will ensure a good management of our public financing. Last consideration about the relationship with Europe. A dialogue with Europe defending our essential interests. We can do so better than before, but this should be contrasted dialogue by acknowledging, by acknowledging that as Italy is a founding member of the European Union, our duty is still essential because our participation is to have in the Eurozone is still essential. Thank you very much. No round of applause. The president of Italy set the country for the right new elections by appointing a former FMI worker in order to have quick service and approve the next budget. The decision to appoint Carlo Cotarelli for a provisional administration prepares the scenario for the election that will take place for the euro sun where Italy is shaking the world financial markets. Italian president meets with the former worker of the International Monetary Fund, Carlo Cotarelli. It is expected that Mattarella will request Cotarelli to have a provisional government during the turmoil that's going to happen with the elections that are going to happen, as we just mentioned. The Five Star Movement, anti-establishment of Italy, is considering a coalition with extreme right wing for the next elections, as mentioned before by the source of the Five Stars. No videos or audio, only official pictures. Both parties abandoned their plans for a coalition government after there was a video on the participation. Macron and the president of Angola, Joao Lorenzo, Meet in Paris. The framework that we're developing with the French Agency for Development is for the agency of the private sector in financing. This is part of the strategy of the President Lorenzo to diversify the economy of Angola. Also, together with love and strength, and I would like to pay my respect to just fighting against corruption and improving the environment for business. His personal commitment and brave decisions for this in this matter have been a clear signal we cannot ignore. We accompany him in this diversification specifically for agriculture, but also with other matters as training, and I hope that we can continue doing so actively. We're also working working with fiscal agreements, and we have decided to help them to continue with this endeavor. The Minister of Finance of Angola, Shel Mangueira, and Secretary of State, and the Minister Jean-Baptiste Telemuan, shake their hands. President Joao Lorenzo, we want to reassure that we of Angola to increase 
Actions, that's why we are working with the francophones either as observers or members due to the important role of the organization in the world, but particularly in our continent, Africa. And on Macron, honored the efforts of a stopping corruption and diversifying economy during their press conference in Paris today. State leaders have announced that they have discussed the, the meetings between France and Angola, and Macron promised continuous support with an agency that promotes support. President of Paraguay offers his resignation to become a senator. The Paraguayan President Horacio Cartes with the government officials in the red carpet with other military workers and mentioned, I present my resignation as President of Paraguay to work from the Senate of the Nation, complying with the popular decision in the elections. May God bless Paraguay. The letters sent by Cartes. Then we can see the presidential palace, including Felipe VI, from Spain. The position as president of the Republic of Paraguay, for which you were elected and proclaimed, to observe and abide by the constitution of the country. I swear by this. So this is what it was. This is the palace, the Lopez Palace. Cartes, president, were Felipe VI of Spain was there. He is given the command. This is a historic day for the nation. Well, Cartes' presidency has stopped after the Congress accepted his resignation. The vice president was appointed. So there must be a correlation with this. Venezuela should in Cuba progress of the judicial system and public defense. As part of a strengthening democratic socialist state of law and justice, Venezuela presented Cuba the progress in the justice system and the input of public defense as in the participation in ninth international justice and law encounter in Havana. In the intervention, the Ambassador of Navarro Rodriguez had a presentation of the progressiveness of the judicial system. Brazil, thousands of protesters striking the streets to support Lula da Silva. Thousands. They were there on Sunday with a pre-candidate for the elections that will take place in October. Brazil is gathered with a single voice, Lula president, as mentioned by Congressman Pablo Pimenta in a meeting of dozens of militants in Brazil. Brazilians backed Lula da Silva, who is in jail since March 7. In the meantime, March March or strike in Argentina against Macri. Social movements of Argentina started on Monday, the 5th of March, for breath and work. They come from five different points in the country and will reach the National Congress of Buenos Aires on Friday. Kiaca, La Rioja, Pasada, Barilocho, Ushuaia, the population will start the Monday with the strikes against the adjustment measures imposed by President Mauricio Macri of Argentina. 774 denunciations for problems with the elections reported were in Colombia. Washington. What can Washington say about the 774 claims for irregularities in the elections have been reported so far in the elections of Colombia, as mentioned by the Minister of Interior, Guillermo Ibero. On his Twitter account, Rivero mentioned that the claims are pressure on the voter for them to vote or not, threats to citizens to comply with their voting right, participation of public servants in campaign violations of human rights on the electoral process, and corruption. What a difference, huh? What a difference. Santos, Colombia will come back to NATO as the first global partner. Of course, you need your support to go against Venezuela. That's your dream.
Por eso también vamos a That's why in Brussels next week we're going to do this, which is very important. Colombia will enter the NATO and third day category of global partner. will be the only Latin American country with this privilege. It is also the only one who dropped their trousers with nine military bases from the United States and granted them their sovereignty in the maritime, air, and land areas. This is how they pay, right? Well, Colombia at the gates of the NATO. As mentioned in the first summit of the European Commission and uh, this happened with Fidel as well. Fidel requested for a declaration of alliance between Europe and Latin America if the countries of Latin America and the Caribbean are part of the Euro-Atlantic part defined by NATO. This was followed by a clause, but never answered. That's why Fidel asked this question. These are the ones who took their trousers, now with the NATO. Becoming part of NATO, as announced by President Santos. On Monday, Diosdado Cabello mentioned that it's atrocious the decision of Colombia to allow the NATO to become part of Latin America. I would use different words, but then they would close down my program. Juan Manuel Santos, him and his awareness and his peoples, this ensures that some of the countries, when he leaves the presidency, will allow this. I don't know if this decision was consulted to the next president of Colombia or the people of Colombia. What links do they have with the NATO? What they want to do with NATO here? They said they're the ones controlling the production of poppy flowers in Pakistan, they should have some interest here. Here I have an official statement from the Republic Republic of Venezuela. This one just came in. I'm going to read it. Venezuela rejects Colombia be part of NATO under the category of global partner. The President of the Republic of Venezuela, Nicolás Maduro Moros, on behalf of the nation and government of Venezuela, rejects the statement of President of Colombia, Juan Manuel Santos, on Friday, 25, 2018 of May, to become part of the NATO as a global partner. Venezuela denounces once again against the international community the intention of Colombian authorities to introduce Latin America the Korean an external military alliance with nuclear capacity, which shows a real threat for peace and stability of the region by defending interests that are not part of the well-being of our sovereign peoples. Sovereigns are the ones that do not have American bases, the ones that not grant our spaces to the Americans as well. The world is witness of the historic position of Latin and the Caribbean by taking a distance from the policies and actions of the NATO, as well as any other army or military organization that wants to use force and suffering against the people to impose and guarantee the hegemony of a political model. We exhort the government of the Colombian Republic to observe and fulfill the international obligations they have committed to as members of the regional organizations destined to guarantee peace and the peaceful solution of controversies. They were committed to this and signed this publicly. Apparently, they will deny these accusations. Amongst them, the Tlatelolco Treaty for Nuclear weapon in the Caribbean. The Havana Declaration of ECLAC that sets Latin America as a peace zone. The Declaration of Latin America as the zone of peace and the measures for fostering security and procedures tested by the South American Defense Council of UNASUR. The Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela reaffirms once again their rejection to any type of intra regional threats that attempt to intimidate the Latin American and Caribbean people decided to be free and independent from the spirit of cooperation, respect of international law, the right for development, life, and thus the right to live in peace. 
This was the statement. This is the statement of the Republic of Venezuela that is once again taking a turn in our unique polluted and beloved spacecraft. That's why we mentioned we came from our special work today, and that's why we're wearing this type of clothes. This is how we had to dress where we were before. Well, this is shameful, and some people should be spat on the face due to this, but those who dropped their trousers and forget about sovereignty that was inherited from Bolivar, Bolivar right now should be fuming, I guess. I will not speak more about this because I consider this nauseous. Whatever you may be, on the other side of the screen, thank you for allowing us to be there with you. Wherever you may be, thank you for allowing us to be there with you. And listen, this program is not part of Telesur. If you want to communicate with us, communicate with BTV, the official channel of the Republic of Venezuela. In any case, in development and in full development are trademarks duly copyrighted that should not be used by Telesur or any other channel. This was Walter Martinez, director, the floor is all yours.